Tonight, from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Mac Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Ryan Tannehill and the Tennessee Titans. It is a chilly night here in the northeastern U.S., but we've got some football to keep us warm at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Tennessee Titans and the New England Patriots. Nick Folk ready to put this one in the air. And we are underway in Foxborough. And back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. Here comes the Tennessee offense. And you see Ryan Tannehill leading them out. And one of the things that is really the success that he desired had some injuries that slowed his development but he kept working at his craft and now he's a guy that i think you can put a game on his shoulders Tannehill hill to throw on the first play and it's called in by austin hooper and he's locked down getting this one up to about the 35. a good start one play 10 yards Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On the ground, this is Derek Henry. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Anthony Jennings in that time defensively. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 44-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Play action. It's Tannehill. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield is a roughing ball. So roughing the passer call is accepted, and this officiating crew not making very many friends here with this crowd. Yeah, we all know that everyone accuses the officials of kind of playing to the home team, but not in this case. They just tried to administer the game the way it's supposed to be. That drew the flag. That to the sideline and incomplete. Boy, they're going to say there's a receiver in the area. That was close to grounding, but it's second down. On second down, here's Henry. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Again, it's Henry. And now they're going 
get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And the Pats are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the line and drive. And that felt like a little bit of their mistake. Cost them points because they're inside the red zone. So you need to get at least a field goal waiting for you. And in this case, they end up with nothing. Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as half answer, and that's the biggest cannon for an arm. He can stretch the field and lay those passes in. tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Throwing Jones. Hunter Henry brings it in. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Now Jones. Taken down here just shy of the 30. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 18. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. On third and short, not only did he get away from the rush and pick up a first down, he picked up a whole lot more than that. And how did he get it done? Evaded the rush, kept his poise, and then how about him directing traffic as he moved downfield to pick up extra blockers? A really nice run. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. Throwing again on second and 10. Jones caught Kelsey, left side. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. It's a pickup of four, but they're still a yard short here with fourth down, fourth coming. So many things going to making a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being blown out of the way was a big start and then a nice tackle to finish things off. Giving to the big tight end on fourth. And the Patriots are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I love those plays. Fourth and one. That's who wants it more this time, the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot 
lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. Line of scrimmage again, the four yard line. Second and goal. Off the play fake. Jones. And it's caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Travis Kelsey. here in this one. This is why a lot of play calls love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you've got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. Nick Folk for the point after. And he gets it to make it 7-0 Patriots. So that one along a culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to the knee and they'll take over at the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll run it again with Henry. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed out hard there. He was ready for that running play. Third and two, Tannehill. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he will have a Titans first down as they get five there on third and two. Back to throw, Tannehill. And that is incomplete. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some touch. Yeah, especially maybe when we look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. Tannehill throwing again. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. So eight yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Brandon, it certainly looked like they had that play defended well, but it still almost worked. Got it to the running back. He wound up getting really good yardage out of it. But it was third and long, and they were able to rally and stop it before he could get to the marker. And a fake here. Direct snap to the up man. Fourth and short in this part of the field. You just know the special teams coordinator was rallying the team saying, watch the fake, watch the fake for Brandon. Don't they usually say that on every punting situation? Oh, yeah, they can be up 40 in the fourth quarter. That's their job. They scream that every time. And this time, though, his team locked in, and they were well aware that it truly was a situation that they could fake it, and they were ready for it and stopped it. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, 
We can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. On first down, Jones. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. So a completion good for just three. And it's second down. Straight ahead, it's Stevenson. And he is going to get this close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the Titans 21. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Now this is Kelsey, a tight end carry. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. This will be caught inside the 10. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Ball on the eight, second and two. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he's in. have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. Did my eyes deceive me? Or was that an eye formation play that was just run there for a touchdown? A little old school eye. How about that? Was that a fullback, tailback, running it into the end zone? Well, that's what that fullback's for, right? That's why you use that. Let him pave the way. Oh, without a doubt. He's an extra blocker, and he did his job well on that play. Full connects on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. So the drive there took six plays. And it was polished off by a Ramondre Stevenson touchdown run. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. And a short pick up to about the 27. It'll be second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. On first down, Tannehill. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Shotgun handoff to Henry. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. To throw is Tannehill. The Pats are gonna get there. Down he goes. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. But the goal is to get back into this game. The offense is certainly moving in the wrong direction. This is certainly a case where one team needs big splash plays right now. But unfortunately, it's the other team that's getting them. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Now Tannehill. say there was a receiver in the area so no penalty just an incomplete pass now on third and long they'll look to throw this will go to henry out wide and he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across 
across the 45. Now on fourth down, here's Ryan Stonehouse to punt for Tennessee. The deep to return it is Marcus Jones. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. New England's offense set to go. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. It almost pushed them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you just have to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and they add a little, little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Now a play fake here on first down. He's got a man complete. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. You asked tight ends about their favorite routes to run, and surprisingly, this will pop up as one of their staples because they run so many routes in the middle of the field. How about this one? Starts downfield, bends it to the corner. Great touch on the football, and they turn that one into a big play. Stevenson now on first and ten. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Again, it's Stevenson. And he'll be brought down at the 27 yard. To back four yard runs. Now, look, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Henry. And they got this down to about the 12-yard line. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. A nine-yard touchdown there, and the Patriots have moved out in front by three touchdowns. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great work, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word, if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that makes the score 21 to zip. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it ends with a New England touchdown. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Here's Trenton Cannon on the return from his end zone. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get 
something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Running left, it's Henry. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The Titans on third down. Two for five to this point. Here it's third and three. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. This team doesn't mind running the ball in any situation, and I thought he was going to get the first down the way the play developed, but the defense closed in and stopped him just about a yard short. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Offense gets set to go, and there's Ramondre Stevenson. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means line. he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. From the 27, Jones. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. It's a first down following a gain of three. That's a tremendous group effort there, because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, you talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. From the 32 now, here's first and ten. Off play action, Jones. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. To throw again, Jones. Over the middle complete, it's Stevenson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Given 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and 10. Off the play fake, Jones. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Off play action, Jones. And incomplete on the deep ball. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. They'll look to throw again. And this complete to Henry over the middle. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 40. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 right at the 40. Now a handoff. Stevenson, and not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up. 
found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second and seven, Jones. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. On third down, here's Stevenson. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action, but other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. So everything else has gone right in this first half. Kind of follows it for their kicker, too, as he adds three more onto the lead. Yeah, and the way that this one's gone, definitely not looking like he's going to have to worry too much about pressure kicks late in the game. He can go out there free and easy, just work on his form, and he knocked that one through. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Titans' offense set to begin the drive. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you down. Want to. Well, no, but well, let me finish. Okay, my thing. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you now just you called it I think you just called a desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Tannehill now to throw. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, it's a toughness to go across the middle. You put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. Now it's Tannehill. Running the slant, that's Hooper. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 42. To the air again, Tannehill. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Here's Tannehill. It's caught over the middle, Hooper. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Being chased out left. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Woods. And he will have a Titans first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. Now Tannehill. Another targeting catch for Robert Woods. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the red zone now, Tannehill. And this one is incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been played at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. The Patriots go with a dime package here. Two extra defensive backs on third. Buying time to his left. He's got Derrick Henry again, back-to-back -back catches. 
And the Titans are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Tannehill. His pass caught at the four. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. From the two now, second and goal. Here's Tannehill. Escaping the pressure right. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry in the final seconds of the first half. And the Titans are on the board here in the final seconds of the first half. Extra point up and good by Bullock. And that'll make it 24 to 7. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working for them now and let's face it they can continue to do damage with it and in addition it sets up the pass game really well for them too and this will be incomplete physical play on the football there and it's second down oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of lead you start playing a little more physically and they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. A give to the tight end, Kelsey. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Running the ball served them well all game long, and there's another example as they pick up a first down. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Off the play fake, Jones. Open man here, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. You yeah, have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. On the handoff, Stevenson. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. 
We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Calling a gain of six on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. And I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Likely cautious with that lead here in the second half. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Tannehill on first down. Open man, Westbrook Akine. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Henry up the middle. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Here's Tannehill. Looking middle, and that's complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Inside handoff, Henry. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Two yards, good enough for the first. Give to Henry. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Juwan Bentley there to get him down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. And a busy night for Henry continues. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. They did a really nice job there defensively. They strung the play out, didn't give him a cutback lane. On each play, you have guys what I call BCR players. Guys are responsible for the bootleg, for the cutback, and for the reverse. They played that one perfectly. And running right out of bounds. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So the special teams penalty costs some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. Now it's Stevenson. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Looking to throw, Jones. And this is caught by Evans. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. 95 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Off play action, Jones. Complete the tight 
tight end Kelsey. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And now we've got a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. This is Stevenson. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Meanwhile, Jones throw taken in by Evans here. And he brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. The time is called. It looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. We'll get a report return to Foxborough. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now a run with Stevenson. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need especially when they look up at the scoreboard. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature in the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty of He's able to make a nice play there to swallow a ball carrier. They run once more with Stevenson. And he's going to get Stevenson. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. Montgomery. Fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard. That's all. Down to the two. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard that time, so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Does it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? And Decision to go for it pays off with six points. So another touchdown there, and even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're right. set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. 
Cannon now elects to bring this out. And ultimately cannot get to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are right, you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe being the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a hang out of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in the league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blow up, let's just say it's been unusual. We're backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Tannehill. And the throw there going to be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fair catch, single four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Patriots take over. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Off the play fake. Jones. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Well, there were about 70,000 that were quickly calling for that flag. It comes out there for pass interference. And what do you think, partner? A little sarcasm in that cheering from this crowd here tonight. What they're hoping now is to put a little momentum off of it and give them a more genuine reason to cheer down the road. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that second down three yards on that last carry here's second and seven back to throw jones complete it's henry and he'll get this to the 22 so they begin the play at the 11 and it's a gain of 11 first down tell you what partner the way he's been slinging it in this one I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. But one thing we've both learned about quarterbacks in this league, the offense down the field longer than you expect. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Throwing on second and eight, Jones. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. That is brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. But forget knowing where the first down line was. His defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. The folks' kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, 
ultimately not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw here. Henry's got it out on the left side. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 44. It's all said and done. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. Throwing again is Tannehill. Right back to Henry, and Henry's got it again. And he'll be brought down at the 27. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. So after incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. Flush to his right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Decent gain on the scramble is six, but now it's fourth. They snap it to Tannehill. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Juwan Bentley. And the Patriots are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. But with this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard, they see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 167 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. Leading the fourth quarter. This is when coaches can have a reliable running game. They breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. 24 yards the game there. Another first down as well. There's a beautiful throw there. And he's been sensational the entire game and moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time. And every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out in the game? Now the ball comes loose. It's picked up by the Titans. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Changes hands. They're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. 
On second down, it's Stevenson. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. Well, that last run for a first down, it really should be the last to offer the defense. I don't care how many they've had in the box, they need to add more people. Now Jones. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Patriots add another six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. Well, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back to the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we have been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the bet to making a huge play and stealing the ball. See if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. And so we'll move it over. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. Back to throw, Tannehill. He's got Hooper on the out route. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. To throw here. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be marked down right at the 15 yard line. On second down, here's Henry. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard of those, but eventually they'll be left with the third and two. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him, but forced that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. They'll run. It's Henry. And try to push his way forward, but...
going to be short. And it is short. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down in this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? Might get radio silence back. <laughs> well, big here in the fourth quarter, up really big. That passing in completion. I don't think they needed the completion, but Charles, this is an offense right now that they're just having fun. They're clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, you're right. They didn't need a completion. They certainly don't need any more points. But they're not going to turn them down. They're going to continue to run what they have in their playbook, and they still want to run it efficiently. And good yardage. He gets this one up to about the 23. Boy, 179 yards rushing for him now as he closes in on a 200-yard night. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I... But they practice for the... Jones keeps it himself. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll be first down New England. Coming up on the final two and a half minutes. And boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Here's second and ten now from the 35. Here's Stevenson. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with and throughout this game they've been satisfied with what he's given them whenever they've needed a big run a first down he's the guy they've turned to and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks they feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage and now nick full his career long 56 yards this from 54 yards away and the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through, and that will extend their lead even further. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny when we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Well, this game, it was well in hand early, never really in doubt. Charles, you and I do so many games together. There's so much parity in the NFL, a lot of close battles. This was not one. Tip your cap to them for a really impressive effort. Yeah, and you know, as the game went on, I think the defense kind of got together and said, you see our guys on offense, they're just putting up point after point. We need to leave our mark somehow, too, and they did it, pitching a second-half shutout.
So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.